Did you know the world's largest electric vehicle company isn't Tesla or even an American, Japanese, or European brand? It's BYD, a Chinese company that's reshaping the global EV landscape, and yet most people have never heard of it. Founded by a visionary chemist in 1995, BYD went from making phone batteries to pioneering electric buses and cars, building a staggering global footprint along the way. With over 700,000 employees and major partnerships, including a rumored alliance with Apple, BYD has moved beyond being just another EV maker. Today, it's a powerhouse that outpaces even Tesla in mass market EV sales and has ambitious plans for an all-electric future. Ready to dive into the story of how BYD went from an underdog to a global force in EVs? Let's go! China's BYD Build Your Dreams has rapidly become the world's largest electric vehicle manufacturer. Yes, a Chinese car brand is the world's largest. It is not Tesla, but rather BYD. But who is BYD? It is a name not many know of. Everyone knows who Tesla is and its famous billionaire CEO, Elon Musk. Well, let's start at the very beginning. BYD was founded in 1995 by Wang Chuanfu, a Chinese chemist with a vision to revolutionize the battery industry. At the time, the Chinese battery market was dominated by Japanese and Korean manufacturers, known for high quality but expensive products. Wang saw an opportunity to produce batteries at lower costs without sacrificing quality. His solution was to leverage China's abundant low-cost labor to reduce production expenses. Starting as a small company in Shenzhen, BYD initially focused on producing rechargeable batteries for mobile phones and other electronics, which were experiencing rapid growth due to the proliferation of consumer electronics. The year 2003 marked a turning point for BYD when the company made its first bold move into the automobile industry. BYD purchased the struggling state-owned Tsinchuan Automobile Company for 269 million yuan, despite having no experience in automobile manufacturing. Wang Chuanfu, however, saw a synergy between battery technology and the automotive sector, especially as the world began to take steps toward reducing dependence on fossil fuels. His belief was that BYD could leverage its expertise in batteries to manufacture electric cars. This decision, seen by many as overly ambitious at the time, laid the groundwork for BYD's future in the EV market. Initially, BYD focused on producing conventional gasoline-powered cars while simultaneously investing in research and development for electric vehicles. This approach allowed BYD to generate cash flow while building the foundation for its EV business. BYD gained international recognition in 2008 when Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway made a significant investment in the company. Buffett's firm, Mid-American Energy Holdings, now Berkshire Hathaway Energy, purchased a 10% stake in BYD for $232 million, signaling strong confidence in the company's potential. This investment came as BYD was beginning to make waves with its hybrid and electric vehicle plans. The financial backing from one of the world's most respected investors provided credibility and helped BYD expand its R&D and production capabilities. At the time of Buffett's investment, BYD had just launched its first hybrid model, the F3DM, which was also the world's first mass-produced plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. This model, although not a commercial success outside China, was a significant milestone, demonstrating BYD's commitment to electric mobility. The F3DM was priced affordably for Chinese consumers, making it an important product in BYD's strategy to cater to the domestic market. The period between 2009 and 2013 was crucial for BYD as the company gradually shifted its focus toward electric vehicles and began tapping into the global market. During these years, BYD strengthened its EV technology and expanded its product line, including electric buses, which became a key part of its growth strategy. In 2009, BYD made a significant push into the electric bus market. As governments around the world, particularly in Europe, began implementing policies aimed at reducing carbon emissions, electric buses became an attractive solution for public transportation systems. BYD seized this opportunity by launching the K9 electric bus, which became one of the world's most successful electric bus models. In 2010, BYD announced a partnership with Daimler AG to form a joint venture called Shenzhen BED Daimler New Technology Company Limited. 
This venture, branded Denza, aimed to develop luxury electric vehicles for the Chinese market, highlighting BYD's intent to move up market. Although Denza did not become a major player in the luxury EV market, it provided valuable experience and bolstered BYD's technological capabilities in the high-end segment. BYD's decision to diversify its product offerings to include electric buses and taxis alongside its passenger vehicles allowed the company to solidify its position as a leader in the EV sector. By 2013, BYD was not only the leading EV manufacturer in China, but also a growing presence in the global electric bus market, with major contracts in cities like London and Los Angeles. The next phase of BYD's rise was marked by strong government support and a surge in domestic EV sales. In 2014, the Chinese government intensified its push for electric vehicles by introducing generous subsidies for EV manufacturers and buyers. These subsidies, combined with favorable industrial policies, such as the mandate that a certain percentage of vehicles sold by manufacturers must be electric, created a booming domestic market for EVs. BYD, with its established presence and affordable models, was well positioned to benefit from these policies. In 2015, BYD launched the Tang SUV, a plug-in hybrid that became one of the best-selling electric SUVs in China. The Tang's combination of affordability, performance and extended range appealed to the growing middle-class market in China, further cementing BYD's dominance in the domestic EV market. By 2016, BYD's electric buses were operating in over 200 cities worldwide, and the company had become the largest electric vehicle manufacturer in the world, surpassing even Tesla in terms of unit sales. While Tesla continued to lead in the luxury EV segment, BYD's focus on mass market vehicles and public transportation gave it a significant advantage in terms of volume. Between the coming three years, BYD focused on consolidating its position in the global EV market and expanding its production capacity. One of the key developments was the launch of the Blade battery in 2020, a new type of lithium iron phosphate LFP battery that promised enhanced safety and longer lifespan compared to traditional lithium ion batteries. This battery became a crucial component of BYD's future vehicles, addressing one of the major concerns of EV consumers' battery safety. In 2018, BYD further expanded its international presence by opening a new factory in Europe, specifically focused on producing electric buses for the European market. The company also secured major contracts in Latin America and Africa, where affordable electric transportation solutions were in high demand. The global demand for electric vehicles continued to rise as governments worldwide implemented stricter emission regulations. BYD, already a leader in China, capitalized on this trend by expanding its product offerings and production facilities. By 2020, the company had solidified its reputation as a global leader in the EV industry, with its electric buses being used in cities across the world. BYD's rise continued into the 2020s, as the global demand for electric vehicles showed no signs of slowing down. In 2021, BYD announced plans to phase out the production of internal combustion engine vehicles, signaling its full commitment to electric mobility. This bold move set BYD apart from many of its competitors, as it became one of the first major automakers to fully embrace an electric future. In 2023, BYD overtook Tesla in global EV sales, a milestone that underscored its dominance in the mass market segment. While Tesla remained a leader in the luxury EV market, BYD's focus on affordability and diverse product offerings allowed it to capture a broader range of consumers. The company's vertical integration, producing its own batteries and vehicles, gave it a significant cost advantage over Tesla and other competitors. One of the most recent news that many have been surprised about BYD is its partnership with Apple. A couple of years ago, Apple was interested in the electric vehicle industry, with rumors about the so-called Apple car circulating as early as 2014. While Apple has maintained its secrecy around the project, known internally as Project Titan, there have been consistent reports of the tech giant exploring partnerships with various automakers and EV component suppliers. Entering the highly competitive automotive industry is no small feat, and Apple's expertise in technology, coupled with BYD's dominance in EV battery production, seems like a natural alliance. Hence, by 2024, there were reports surfacing that Apple had partnered with BYD 
to develop long-range electric vehicle batteries. The driver behind this partnership is BYD's Blade Battery Technology. So as we can see, BYD is not only taking over the world's EV market, but is also partnering up with some of the largest businesses globally. But in terms of figures and size, just how big is BYD? Well, in 2020, BYD's revenue reached 153.5 billion renminbi, about $23.7 billion. As of 2023, the company also employs over 700,000 people worldwide, making it one of the largest employers in the automotive and battery industries. In terms of facilities, the company operates multiple manufacturing facilities in China, including its main factories in Shenzhen, Xi'an, and Changsha, where it produces electric vehicles, batteries, and other components. In addition to its domestic facilities, BYD operates manufacturing plants in the US, Brazil, and Hungary, where it produces electric buses and other components for the European and American markets. And that's it for today, guys. Thanks for joining us on this journey through BYD's incredible rise in the electric vehicle world. From pioneering battery technology to partnering with giants like Apple, BYD is proving that it's a name worth knowing in the global EV industry. What do you think about their rapid growth and bold moves? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for more stories on the companies shaping our future. See you next time.